That thing does no damage, does it? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video! Okay, so, um, I promised earlier that I would probably be spam uploading the weekend. However, a little bit of a problem came in, so you only got three videos. Uh, my apologies for that. I promise to pick that up next weekend. Um, besides that, we're gonna continue with the main storyline, and, um, we are just a little bit further to go. Uh, currently, we gotta do uh, the side mission for Naoka, as we were supposed to do last episode, which is about 320 miles away from here. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So far, I've been trying to progress myself through the entire zone, and uh, God, it's been a pain. So many enemies. Luckily, my mace, my trusted mace, is always ready to kill. <clears throat> So yeah, yesterday I was sick as hell. <laughs> Again, yes. But this time it wasn't just regular sick, it was alcohol sick. So we drank about four Bacardi Colas and uh, well, everything just went south from there. I'm not sure why, but um... Manta Queens. God, they are a pain in the ass if you don't know how to take them out. Luckily, my weapon is incredibly overpowered, so that usually isn't a problem. Nothing really is a problem when I'm playing with this mace. But I'll take it. Oh! <laughs> That's just insane how much damage that does. So yeah, yesterday I basically went on to... Uh, whenever I drank something, I would uh, vomit it right away. That was just no good. I think I got alcohol poisoning. It just didn't really uh, fell right. I don't know what happened. Usually I can handle my drink, but you know. You yeah, know, this time was a little different. All right, so right now we're gonna go over here, which is about 140 meters to go. And we're gonna go ahead and kill every fucking thing we can kill here. Ow. There you go. Oh shit, I died. I died. Ah, oh, fuck, I took him on wrong. She saw me too soon. Uh, one thing I did notice is my weapon does about 160 damage and a full magazine of my bullets is about the same. So yeah, that's no bueno, you feel me? Alright, so we gotta go a little bit more south. Uh, the reason I'm so uptight with my character right now, as you see in the screen, is because he's stressed out. Apparently that's a thing. Flaw tutorial. During your adventure, things may happen to your character that trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Food addiction. You can't seem to stop yourself from eating even food that blends on horrible flavored. No eating often will cause withdrawals. Effects. Food addiction withdrawal. Accept. Alright, we got a sweet new point. Um, movement speed. Chance to reset ally, no. TTD, no. Chance. Bonus to extra headshot and weak spot. 40 kilos of carrying capacity. Oh, the weight for my consumables will be going down a lot. Oh, that's huge. I'll take that any day. So let's uh, go ahead and do that a little bit further. While we go ahead a bit more south. Um, we should be getting pretty close now. Yeah, I'm not finding those again. I already fought them so many times. Rotting river, on account of all the dead things. The caves back east are safest. We can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way up. Uh, cave east? Bobbing and weaving, baby. Bobbing and weaving. Nice. But when those are around, it usually means that a Manta Queen is around as well. Let's take this bitch out. 
see that guy, she just just take no damage from weapons. Plus she takes up my companions easy as hell too. It's actually crazy. Now she's not focused on me, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and punch the fuck out of her. Have you guys seen that damage? It's crazy, right? Go ahead and heal up real quick. Do a little whoop de da Come on, see the guy! There we go, we got one. These Manta Swarms also do a fuck ton of damage for some reason. Oh, we got him. We got him! Holy shit, that does a fuck ton of damage. I'm not gonna lie, these Manta Queens are hard as fuck to kill. They just don't seem to take any damage from me, no matter what I do. I gotta learn how to start using my double space bar so I can actually start dodging things which are right in front of me. Um, so yeah, we got Starcross Trooper, now I can give you directions to a spot of Monarch where she buried Hayes, a member of the old crew. So this one does bring me pretty close to that one, but first let's go ahead and do the Starcross Trooper. What's that thing? A Reptodon Colossus. Oh, that sounds, that sounds great. <laughs> that sounds fun. Knocking the fuck out. Oh, that was easy. God, I love this weapon. It's so good. Hayes' grave. Buried near the surface of Hayes' grave is a small lockbox. It hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotten. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it, but in it you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters Char Sharon. Sharon? All right, sweet. So I should give it to her? My girl? Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. <laughs> son of a saint. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I see. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. All right, sweet. Hold on, tell me about the UDO contracts. Why do we need their help? I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks. And but maybe they we were. Use the money to get off hmm. That was a long time ago. <sighs> All right. I should have. I, I really should have. Yeah, you're a bad friend. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Aw, oh, that sucks, man. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm glad that you're trying to come front it. Booze makes it better, friend, anyway. That's concerning amount of baggage to carry around. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but... We've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Well, I hope you're not gonna be screaming... ...on my ship when I'm trying to sleep. I need to sleep, you feel me? Alright, so we're go before we're gonna go back to that loser, we gotta go ahead and do Radio Free Monarch. Which uh, leads me to this one first. So let's go ahead and go there and um, collect our whatever the fuck it is we need to get there. Alright, so guys, thank you so much for the support we've been getting on the series so far. It's been absolutely phenomenal and it's glad to see you, some of you guys here coming consistently. Um... Of course, we're going to be trying to grow the channel as much as we possibly can, and you guys are helping me doing a phenomenal job at that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for helping me with that. Let's go ahead and continue this one a little bit further now. Oh, no. Oh, he saw that dodge. If you guys did enjoy the episode, don't forget to leave a like or comment down below. It would be an incredible help to me and the channel. Um, beside that, I hope you guys are ready for Star Wars, which is releasing in a little, little bit. How did I pronounce that? 
Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Star Wars. Um, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really fucking fun, and I can't wait for you guys to be there. I don't know if you guys have seen any of the... Ugh, man, I can't speak. Any of the content which has been released for Star Wars, but if you have... Uh, you can probably understand my hype, because that game looks fucking incredible! And, uh, again, to give you guys the appreciation we've been having on the series, uh, from lately, I want to give you guys a little bit more of a thanks, uh, by also giving away two copies of Star Wars Jedi, uh, the something something. <laughs> Good study. Alright, so, um... As you guys might have known from early episode, and if you haven't, then I am uh, headed into exams soon. Uh, it's about in two weeks, so in a little bit, it will be a little bit less videos than usual because I'm really going to have to study. Um, I will try to maintain a daily video, though, but in the weekends will probably just be uh, one or two videos, simply because I really don't have the time to uh, make more. So I hope you guys can understand that. Uh, of course, before I'm going to start doing that, I won't leave you guys with nothing. So, um, make sure to pay attention, and, uh, videos will be coming your way. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, shit. Alright, I got electricity on my shotgun now from a mod. Come on, loser. Oh, I gotta reload. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Ugh. Gotta reload real quick. Take a heal and then use my super. Ugh. Gotta do that one more time. Should be recharging soon. Gotta make sure I heal. Let me get outie. Make sure I heal. Both my teammates are dead, and they probably won't revive till I uh, till I kill them. Die, loser! There we go. We got one. Can heal back up? Oh, of course. Of course, a colossus. Ah, oh, man. There are too many enemies. I don't know if I can take them on. Jesus! Jesus! How did that hit me? Okay, Manta Pillar is down. Oh, my teammates really are not reviving until they do this, huh? A bit closer! Boom! That's Thunder for a little bit, so that's good. He's almost down. She's down. Okay, I gotta heal real quick. Oh my god, this battle. Stop it, you cunt. Whew. Shit. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Come on, man. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck, that was tough. There were a lot of enemies. I really am surprised I didn't die there. Fucking hell, mate. Alright, you gotta admit that was pretty cool. Waited for him to charge to me and then blew his fucking face off right last minute. That's how we do, baby. That's how we do. <laughs> Maybe got a little too excited over that. We're not done yet. We're not done yet in the cave of hell. So, um, heavy guns, which it means crit. All right, so, um, let's go ahead and continue my one hand a little bit more. I cannot. Yes, I can again. Don't ask me that again. Apply. Yes. Let's get a bit more of that skill going, you feel me? And for this one, let's get a point in extra dialogue simply. Because that'll be useful later on. So many levels to get for, to get all the perks. Hey, 
see you later, bud. Fuck off. God, guys, look at this cave. God, this game has done really well with the quality it has, man. I've been really surprised over how incredibly... How incredibly cool that game is. Don't know where. What's up? Uh, you mentioned a more fun way up the mountain. <laughs> uh, you mind healing the ship for a bit? Oh, no, no, heading. I'm sure you could all get the matter of hunting stories. Tell me what. Uh, nothing. Nothing from, uh, nothing I need, at least. Almost got him. One more hit. There you go. Got him. I feel like I gotta start repairing this mace soon because I don't want it to break. It's fucking overpowered as hell. Can we collect any of this? No, we can't. It would be pretty fun if this were collectible flowers that you need for something, right? Unfortunately, that was not it. Right. Inventory. Let's see. What's that like? Six. That's a lot better than what I got. Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's ugly. All right, so, um... Yeah, gotta continue a bit more further down the tunnel. Seems like we are getting pretty close. So that's pretty good, but um, for now we just gotta figure out how on earth I'm gonna get there. How on earth we gonna get there? So what do you guys think? This has been a pretty fun episode so far, right? Uh, so many fucking action, monsters, error, and finally some- Shit, that's a big one. We can take oh. two around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I vote the latter. I don't think we can kill that. What level is that thing? A Mega Manta Queen, huh? Jesus Christ. Are we gonna try this, guys? I feel like we can do this. As long as he just keeps attacking me, I'm totally fine with it. Look at those no damage, is it? Oh, I got friends coming. I wish I had grenades. Wouldn't that be useful, guys? Gotta get as much damage. Oh my god, she got up so quick. She's only half health. How do you even kill something like this? Gotta reload. Hard as hell to kill. Jesus! I gotta heal up. Can't really take a risk of me not finishing her off properly. Blinded. Oh my god, guys. I might not make it. I have no more health potions. Oh my god, I'm dying still. My health is not doing enough. No! Fuck! Shit! Oh man! What the fuck killed me even? I'm gonna try that again. Alright guys, hold on. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this fucking bitch. 
Holy shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, we did it! Oh, look at all that loot, baby! Whew, man! Jesus Christ, that took me a while. Holy fuck, that thing was hard to kill. Oh, Jesus. I gotta replace that one, because that one's fucking useless. Oh, my God. That has to be one hard-ass motherfucker to kill. Holy guacamole. Jesus. Jesus. Alright, let's continue, I guess. Man, that was a hard fucking to kill. I'm glad we did it, but uh, it took me a few tries. I'm completely out of mana now, so... <laughs> Good job. Alright, let's enter Devil's Peak Summit. For fuck's sake, man, that was... That was a challenge. Holy guac. Finally, the first real Here challenge in the game. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Well, I'm glad we went in guns blazing. They only got one on Terra too, you know. Up in All right, fuck's sake. I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a pretty big fight coming up here uh, with a bunch of marauders and trying to capture this fortress or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I do think this is a good, pretty good part of the episode with. And uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!